Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone 4S in 2016. This phone was released way back in 2011 um, and originally came with iOS 5, but it can run all the way up to iOS 9 now and seeing that iOS 9 is the last ever version of iOS that um, you can update to as iOS 10 requires an iPhone 5 or later. I thought I'd take a look at its performance and just how it stacks up uh, today with uh, usual tasks people perform on their phones. Um, comparing this to the iPhone 4, you can see that they are almost identical um, except one small thing you can see on the outside. Uh, up the top there you can see that there is no antenna on the side. But on the iPhone 4 it is located at the top which caused a few antenna issues so they moved it to the side. Moving along we can see that the front looks pretty much identical. The iPhone 4 can only run up to iOS 7 whereas the iPhone 4S can run all the way up to iOS 9. This is a 64GB version I have here, but it doesn't matter if you have 8, 16, 32, or 64, they all have the same internal specs. As you can see, it does have a rear-facing camera, which is quite decent quality, um, even in today's standard. It's not the best, it's not an iPhone 6S or anything, but you will be able to see what's going on with these photos, and um, they're quite decent. If you're looking for a cheap phone that can take photos, this is quite nice, and it can also do panorama shots um, and time lapses. It also has a front facing camera, so you can take selfies, and there I am um, recording on my iPhone 5. Um, go ahead and get out of that. Basic functions such as the Messages app uh, allows you to send to iMessage. If you don't know what iMessage is, it's a free message service from Apple that lets you go from iPhone to iPhone or to iPad or to Mac or um, and in reverse obviously you can do that either way um, and you also text message off of this thing it works just fine you can obviously um, check your mail on here this works as well um, as it is the latest version of iOS um, and the phone obviously works as well um, as you can see it takes a little bit to open and that's because of its um, specs and it's quite old now but yes it does still call and do normal phone things the only problem is um, is with the apps <coughs> most apps run um, not as smooth as they do on newer phones and when iOS 10 comes out eventually you're going to start seeing um, obsolete apps um, and you might be able to install some because they require iOS 10 um, but at the moment, you can download most of the apps, um, and they run quite—they uh, run just fine. Some of the games don't work because they uh, require newer phones with more processing power. Um, but if you're using, if you're looking for a phone that you can just go on the internet, message, take pictures, um, then this this phone will work just fine. Um, just keep in mind that iOS 10 is coming out in under a month now, and it is not going to be supporting the iPhone 4S, so it will be an obsolete phone. But you can pick these up pretty cheaply now. Um, if you're looking to get into the iPhone um, from, say, an Android or even a really old um, phone, uh, this is a good start. Um, the iPhone 4S is missing a few features that come with newer iPhones, such as AirDrop and the new Spotlight Search, um, Night Shift, and a few other things. But you can get low power mode, uh, which puts your phone into a low power state. Um, to preserve battery, you can get that on the iPhone 4S. Yep, so thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time in another one of my great videos.